Yeah, good day. Uh, today we're going to go from um, Kapiti to Safala along the uh, Upper Chiron Road. This is uh, we're going soft roading in a SUV. I'm doing this track today in a uh, brand new Subaru Forester, so obviously I'm not going to go too hardcore. This road we're doing today, you can do it in your Rav Fours, your Subies, your X Trails, things like that. So this is what it's all about. This is soft roading near Sydney, Capiti uh, to Safala along the Turon River. See you on the road. Okay, our track, our track starts off at Capiti, a small town on the Castlereagh Highway. It's uh, I don't know about 30 k's out of Lithgow. On the Mudgee Road, you're heading west to Mudgee, about 100 k's out of Mudgee. Right, so after you go through this little town, you have to take a turn off on the left hand side of the road, about a k out of town. It's called um, Upper Turon Road, and that'll take you through to um, a resort called Turon Gates. You have to go past Turon Gates to get uh, to get to Safala. So anyway, we're just coming outside uh, Cavity now, heading west. When you come down here, that left hand turn, that, that the left hand turn locker bar road, that takes you down to the hardcore four wheel driving on the um, Chiron National Park. No, we're not going that way, we're going to Chiron Gates. Right hand turn, yep. So basically, here we are. The road's gonna be like this most of the way. You can, you can actually do it in a conventional vehicle as long as you got a little bit of ground clearance. Uh, it's, uh, this is like a farm access road. It's, um... All right, so I'll just, I'll get back to you later when I find something interesting on the road. So along, along this track, you, you're going through farm access roads. So, um, a lot of, a lot of times you'll be going across cattle grids and stuff, um, and going through, uh, actual working farms, uh, just so, be careful of livestock and stuff. Okay, here's a nice part of the road. Um, it, it's very beautiful here. This is just coming down into Turon Gates. Uh, this is crossing the Turon for the first time. Hang on, what's going on down here? There's some, some rescue or something. So beautiful here. So beautiful, um, the beautiful Chiron River, the people and stuff.
I was just driving along the river and I noticed that it's full of these enormous carp. I think they're carp. Jeez, they're magnificent fish. Um, and the, the river's just full of them. Yes, um, the, the Chiron River is full of these uh, magnificent carp, and they're really big, and there's heaps of them. I was just driving along, and I, I could just see them. Oh, beautiful. I wish I had my fishing rod or some dynamite or something. They're just carp. Some of these fish are really big. And, the, and, and this part of the river, man, it's full of them. I hope you can see them good. Yeah, this is um, really beautiful here. We just pulled up next to the road, the beautiful Turon. Really very beautiful here. See that? Safala 38 k's, Bathurst 50 k's. This is a glamping. That's. This is the first gate I've come to. It's just after. Actually, just after Turon Gates uh, Resort, and there's going to be a few gates today. And um, you just have to open them, go through, and close them. Here's a, um, it, it get, can get a little bit challenging um, for your soft rider, it's not too bad actually. I put the CV in X mode here and it's got the all descent and stuff, it's handling it quite well, nothing, nothing too hard, it's a bit, the road's a little bit rutted and stuff but it's not bad. We're about, I don't know, 15 k's along the track now and um, the track goes away from the river for a while. It's going through pretty remote farmland actually.
this is a nice little um, nice little causeway just towards the end of the trek it's heaps nice Now there's a big snake on the road, I don't know if it's alive or dead, I can, let's have a look, I'm, no I'm not sure. I don't know what the windscreen wipers are going to do. Um, no, it's 100% alive, yeah, it's a beauty, I don't know what it is. It's a brown or something. It's a nice little um, nice little causeway just towards the end of the trek it's heaps nice 